Hi, welcome back to C Programming. I'm your Dr. Vasu. Here you can find other interesting subjects as well along with the C Programming. Do subscribe the channel to get alerts. Sharing this program in the Google Drive and you can find the link in the description. Now, let's see what these double pointers are. Double pointer is a pointer to pointer, right? We are getting the, uh, the pointer gives you the address of some variable. This pointer gives the address of that particular pointer, okay? It stores the address. Its a data type is identified as a double star identifier, okay? You will see all it clearly. It is a pointer is declared as a integer star p1. A double pointer is declared as a double star q1. Okay. So here, suppose p1 is the pointer, its address ampersand p1 is stored in q1. Here q1 is the double pointer. So it stores the memory address of a pointer variable. Let us see. Suppose we have taken a variable x, its value is uh, 5.67, some float value. Its address is this one. Okay, we have the address and this address refers to this particular value, points to this particular value. Now, the uh, this address can be obtained with the help of ampersand x. And also we call it as pointer p1. So, the value of this can be obtained by with the help of uh, star p1, this one. Now, coming to this, this address is stored in a memory location. This address is obtained here. That is, with the, that this is the address of p1, the pointer. And it can be obtained by with the help of ampersand p1. As we get uh, the address of this variable as ampersand x, Suppose if you consider this as a value, this as a variable, its address is stored here, its address is, can be obtained with the help of ampersand p1, okay? So, that's why we call it as a double pointer. q1 is the double pointer here. Now, let's see, with the help of a simple program, we can understand this, what this double pointer is. So we have taken a, a variable x integer value is the same and p1 and a double star dp1. For a double pointer, we would like to take d, okay, dp1. Now, ampersand x, that is x, address of x is the same to pointer p1. The address of p1 right? Address of P1, that is ampersand P1, is assigned to DP1. Now, let's get these values, how they are. X here, pointer P1, and a double pointer P1, DP1. Okay? And if you display this uh, X and uh, star P1, what can be the star P1? Star P1 is the nothing but the value of variable itself. Okay? X itself. And suppose if you say double star dp1, what will we get? We'll see. So here p1 and star dp1. Let us see how they, what all these uh, uh, will display. Coming to this, to have a clear picture, we have taken the variable here, x value, that is 567. And this is the address of this variable with the help of ampersand x, we get it. Also, we call it as a P1, okay? Now, it is nothing but the pointer. To get this value indirectly from this address, what the value is stored in this particular pointer or this particular address is obtained with the help of star, D, star P1, okay? This is all we know clearly. Now, the address of this pointer P1 is this one, that is, with the help of ampersand p1, you get it, right? We are calling this as a double pointer, dp1, okay? Now, to get the value of this one, p1, star dp1 gives you 
this value, this address. Okay, as we are getting, this is P1. P1 is the some value, suppose. It is an address, of course, but it is certain value. This value, right, can be obtained like, as we obtained here with the P1 is an address and the variable value is obtained with the help of star, D, star P1. Similarly, this is DP1 and its value can be obtained here with the help of star DP1. Okay, let us see how it is. And suppose if you consider this as a, some X, right? This is some value. Star, this value gives you the value here. Right? Star, this point, uh, suppose this is a star DP1, you consider this as a, some P. Okay, this is P only. Star P gives you the value. So, so we added one star here. Oh, no. Let us see how will be the output here. X value, fine. It is uh, directly uh, showing the 567. The pointer, this is the value 96. Okay, next double pointer. This is a double pointer. That is a pointer to pointer. This is the address of P1. Okay, now suppose if you take X here, star P1 gives the same value. Star P1 is, we know that this is star P1 is this one. Star P1 gives you the value which is stored in this particular address. So star P1. Now double star DP1. That is DP1 star gives this DP1, okay, this value. Suppose you consider this as A, right? Star A gives this value. So that's why double star DP1 is showing this address, X value. Suppose if you take P1, star DP1 will be this value, same value. The DP1 is this, star DP1 gives dp p1 okay so to have a clear picture i have given you this one so when you can write this one when you just remember this set x ampersand x and p1 star p1 this particular set of values will give you any a clear picture of these pointers the same is applied here also for the dp1 when you take the double pointer the same logic is applied Okay, now, so let's take a, a variable x here, right, 100, and p1 star, double star p2, and triple star also we have taken. That means x value is stored in a p1 pointer, okay, and p1 address is stored in p2. P2 address is stored in P3. That means we are increasing one level after other. Let us see how it will be. X, I want to see these values here. What are these values will be? X, P1, P2, P3 and star P3, right? And double star P3, triple star P3. How will be the values? And star P2, double star P2 and a single star P1. These are all uh, actually we have taken to a third level. And let us see how they are. To have a clear picture, let's see how this is that uh, this value of X, variable X is right, is stored in a particular memory location and its address is this, okay? This is the address of X. Now, oh, this address can be obtained with the help of ampersand x okay this ampersand x actually is assigned to p1 <laughs> ampersand x is assigned to p1 so this is p1 now if you have you can have a look at it whether you say ampersand x or p1 you get this same address 604 this 604 okay now address of this one address of p1 is here that is address of P1. We call it as ampersand P1. As we are calling the this as the address, X ampersand X gives you the address. Here this is P1. 
ampersand p1 gives you this address right this values address here so this is 0 8 now we call it as p2 double pointer next so uh, this is the value so 0 8 next address of this one again p2 address the p2 is a pointer here and uh, this is a some treat this as a value stored in a memory location this address is here okay that is uh, address of p2 and it it can be obtained with the help of by just adding a ampersand to this p2 so ampersand p2 gives you this address right and we call it as p3 okay hope you get a clear picture of, from this picture now you can display this p3 the p3 value this is 16 16 here now we get uh, the x value here from this address p1 is a pointer star p1 gives you this value okay so star p1 is shown here now similarly this is p2 star p2 gives you this value 04 okay so star p2 gives you 04 now suppose you take star p3 p3 is here star p3 gives this value 08 so star p3 gives 08 here now suppose similarly we call we take the, in the similar fashion on the same logic suppose you have taken uh, this as some a okay ampersand a uh, star a gives you this value this a means star p2 so add one star to this that gives you this value that is double star p2 double star p2 gives this 100 now similar fashion this is star p3 right is taken and one star is added to that this double star p3 gives you this address okay double star p3 gives just 04 this is 04 now take this one as uh, some value right and this is the address and i want to have the value of it you add one star to this triple star p3 so triple star p3 gives 100 this value this so if you can just imagine this uh, this picture right from this picture you can clearly get what the address is and where how to get the value of it clearly so this will give you a clear picture and suppose still i want to have the address of p3 right still you can write ampersand p3 of course this is not defined right this is just to have a picture a clear picture of it the address of p3 also can be obtained by just saying ampersand p3 now just let's have a quick look at these values these addresses here this is a hundred a simple integer a small integer and it is uh, stored here in a address say p04 okay from here to here we have four right the difference is four only four bytes so four bytes of memory is sufficient to store this particular value because it is a, a small integer now from eight the uh, this is a big number this value should be uh, this is a value right this value is stored in the eight that means from eight to fifteen this is the number of bytes that is taken number of member of memory that is obtained here the taken for this to store this particular value the memory taken is from 0 8 to 15 this is the next one so 0 8 to 15 means 8 bytes because this is a bigger value to store this bigger value 8 bytes of memory is taken here similarly from 16 to 34 24 another 8 bytes that means to store this particular value 0 8 this address 8 bytes of memory is taken so that sort of a dynamically array of taking the memory is possible here the dynamic memory allocation so depending on the size of this variable the memory allocation takes place 
hope uh, this picture clearly gives you an idea of uh, what is a pointer, a double pointer, and the indirection operator, how to get the value which is stored in a particular address like this. Okay, so continuation of these pointers, we will come up with uh, another uh, interesting uh, feature in the pointers in the next uh, video. Hope you had understood this topic very well. If you have any queries or doubts, please do comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.